Canva users. Are you having trouble uploading your photos, finding photos to use, and or removing backgrounds? I've got you. Welcome to our channel. I'm Tia, one half of Cameron and Tia, and we have fast and furious Canva tutorials for you here. Let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So I'm just going to create an Instagram post. It's blank, just so that we can get started here. I'm going to go into the elements tab and here's where we can find a lot of fun stuff. Recently used line shapes, graphics, all the things and photos. Inside photos, there is an extensive library of really awesome imagery, like really fun, really engaging things that can fit really any brand aesthetic. So inside here, I can just click here and it's going to bring me bring it right into my design. If I want to kind of frame it or adjust how it's looking, I can go back into elements and I can scroll down into frames. And then maybe I'm going to pick up this fun film strip, put that on my canvas, and then I can put that inside there. So that's a really awesome way to just add a lot of layer and dimension. Inside here, there are obviously like trending images, which is great to look through. You can also search in any way. So I can search here and I can search um, keywords. I can search types of images. So maybe I'm going to search Valentine's. As you can see, we've been searching a lot lately. And I'm going to find all of these elements. Something that I can also do is let's actually search something a little more fun and funky. How about a funky disco? Ooh. Okay, disco, come through. Wait, I love this image. Okay, let's just put it on here because it's fun. But what I can do is in this top right, I can filter. So let's say I'm looking for funky disco, but I have a specific vision for it. I love this pink. I'm going to click pink and it's gonna pull up all the ones that have pink in there in some ability. And then maybe I only want vertical images or maybe I only want cutouts. It's really awesome to be able to pull all of this together and I know that I'm getting pink imagery that could be really fun and really funky. So I'm gonna bring this on here. Something to note is that I can, oops, it popped it in that frame and I did not want it in that frame, I wanted to keep my photo. I'm gonna make this really huge and I'm gonna actually go backwards. That's gonna be my backdrop now. So that's a really fun way to use imagery. The other thing is, is that you can upload any imagery you want. So you just go to uploads here and I can go upload files and I can pull in anything that I might want. For example, this headshot of us. I want us to be in this Valentine's inspired imagery. And let's say, hold on, I need a frame for that, don't I? So I'm going to go back. Let's find, oh, cute. Okay, disco. Wait, that's just fun. So let's add that in there. You can see that's a graphic. And I'm going to grab a frame. I want another something that's film inspired. I love using frames because they just organize everything really well. They can kind of keep everything um, in its own section. I don't love that. I'm going to delete that. Hold up, hold up. I feel like there's some more film ones. And you know what? Let's search for it. Oh, yes. Love. Okay, look at all these options I have. How about this? Oh, that's fun. Okay, I'm going to drop it down here. I'm going to pop us in there. If you want to manipulate how the photo is in the frame, so you can see, I'm going to control Z, see the photo, it's this very nice vertical where like there's this headspace for cam, when I drop it in there, it's cutting cam's head off. I double click on the photo and then I can drag to adjust and then I can press enter or return or done. Boom. Now we're adjusting there. Okay, but I'm blocking this disco ball. So let's put us over here. So that is how you upload imagery into there. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to elements and I'm going to go see all. See this magic recommendations? Honestly, I love it. Like it is a vibe. It has a lot of stuff that I would use once it gets the general sense of what I am looking for. Like, dang, this should have been my background. Like that's freaking cool. So from there, magic recommendations can be really handy. But also, if you find images that you like, so like, you know how I was loving this. I love this. Let's explore. Let's see what this is. Ooh, cool. Okay. So let's say I love that style. I love that. There may be a collection where I can click on this and it'll show me, okay, this is woman holding disco ball. So those were the keywords. It has some keywords down here. I can save this for my favorites to use later, or I can add to a folder. I can also see more by this artist. So view more by Cotton Bro from Pexels. Let's click on Pexels. And this has a general collection. But let's go back and let's also see cotton bro so this user has uploaded this imagery or created this Im imagery and we might be able to find things that are similar 
in vibe to that by going through all of their image images. I super recommend this um, with templates, with different fonts, with different designs, because once you find a creator that you like, they're going to have a lot more things that you also like. So spending some time scrolling through, maybe favoriting some imagery can be a really awesome way. And look at this. That feels like that's from the same collection. Okay, awesome. That's super great. So now one final thing. I'm going to clean this up a little so that doesn't feel quite so crazy. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to our photos and I am going to pull in this photo. Congrats. Awesome, right? Now, there are a few different things that you can do when editing an image. So any images, both the ones you upload or in here, you can click on, make sure it's highlighted and go to edit image in the top left right here. Now, there are so many different things you can do. There's this duo tone where you can make it like a certain color that it kind of has only that vibe, which could be fun for different designs. I'm going to cancel that. You can really do any sort of editing that you want. So if you want to adjust brightness, if you want to adjust um, saturation, anything like that will be right here and you can go see all and it'll expand and show you some more options. That's a really awesome feature. Um, there's also things like glow where it's going to put a glow around the photo so see how that added in the back there or like a drop shadow so now it's kind of popping off of there or a page lift so those are some great features to add a lot of dimension and then the thing that I think is a game changer that I want to talk on is this background remover now this is a pro feature but we think Canva Pro is so worth it if you're thinking about joining Canva Pro we have a link down below that we would so appreciate you using um, it'll take you straight to registering for Canva Pro and it is a game changer one of the reasons I think Canva Pro is worth it is honestly for this background remover so I can click on this and let's see what it does <laughs> Boom. It removed the background, which is just insane. And I'm sure you can already start to think of some amazing use cases for this. Now you'll see in here, and it's kind of crazy because we have such a crazy background going on. So it removed in between the heel, which is amazing. But you can see in congrats there, it didn't quite get it. So I'm going to select a brush to erase, and it brings me to this, which is really awesome. What you can do here is show original image. For example, if it erased something that you didn't want it to, and you can also adjust the brush that you're going to use. So from here, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to make a smaller brush and maybe I want to clean this up and then I can clean this up. I'm going to need even smaller than that, y'all. And I can just clean up from here anything it maybe didn't get. And then I can go done and let's say it's hypothetically good to go and I can go apply. I will say that when it is removing people from backdrops, it is insanely good. Like it is absolutely crazy what it can do. And that's a really great use case because I want to put me and Cam on lots of graphics, on promotional graphics, on email, copy banners, on um, Instagram stories. I might want just us to pop like this woman is now going to pop on our design. And that's a really awesome way to easily do that so I can go edit image and then this is where I would bring out a lot of like the shadows I would maybe like make her glow to like pop Ooh, yes okay so that is an awesome rundown on the entire photo library and everything that you can really do with imagery inside Canva did you enjoy that tutorial if so hang around please like subscribe and comment it helps us so much and we'll continue producing these awesome and fast straight to the point canva tutorials we would love to see you around here until next time bye